plaintiff, Kevin Booker, says he is a super athlete who's played in four straight Super Bowls. In the Madden Football Video Game League, Kevin plays in a league with the defendant, and he's suing him today for breach of contract and defamation of character. Defendant George Coley says Kevin is competitive and aggressive in nature. George claims Kevin became enraged because he allowed an ex-con back into their league, even though Kevin was allowed back in the league after his arrest for making terroristic threats. George denies owing Kevin for anything. Start with you. Okay, Jan, I'm an athlete, super athlete. Mm -hmm. Played in four straight Super Bowls. I've won two. I'm a Hall of Fame player, a league MVP, but it's not the league you're thinking of. So. Yeah, because I haven't heard of it. <laughs> it's not. I watch a lot of football. <laughs> it's the Madden Football Video Game League. Oh, so. Okay. Uh huh. Um, ESPN hosts a Madden Challenge every year, where players come from all over the nation to play in this tournament. The grand prize of this tournament is $100,000. So this is real serious. Real money. Yes, sir. All right, not video money. Real money. Um, gotcha. All right. In my league, I've won $2,500. Okay. Won every award but Rookie of the Year. Was the first player to take two teams to the Super Bowl. The defendant, Mr. Coley, We've played in league play for almost eight years now, sir. George was very adamant about the way funds were misappropriated in the other league and how the league was ran. So George took over and he started his league in the beginning of September of 2010. George promised all the league members that he would give us printout of money collected from each person, money spent uh, throughout the season. He only did it in September, and that was it. I have a copy Let me, uh, of that get right some here. background from him before we get into the specifics, sir. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm here, sir, is because I'm dealing with an individual who is both hyper-competitive and aggressive in nature and who has also lost sight of reality as it relates to this Madden football game. Um, in fact, it is his aggressive nature that has gotten him in, the pa in trouble in the past, so I knew that he could be a potential problem during this season. Um, he's shared with me on several occasions that it, it, the reason he left his position as a Philadelphia police officer was because he got tired of citizens complaining about his aggressive nature during traffic stops and arrests. That's not true, Yana. You work now, sir? I'm retired. Um, to play professional football? <laughs> Injury, yeah. sir. Injury from playing on the field? No, from, from the job. From football? From the job, sir. Oh, okay. Sir? Booker has a my way or the highway type of personality. That's and not true, case, Your Honor. Case in point, uh, this season we had another individual from the league uh, who was unfortunately incarcerated. This individual got out of uh, jail during the league, at which time I was notified and allowed the individual to participate and rejoin the league. Booker called me. He was livid with me. He went on a five-minute tirade on the phone of, you know, how could you do this? How could you let this type of individual back in the league? I said, whoa, Booker, slow down. He paid his money to participate in this league just like you. Can I interrupt and you? matter of fact, I had, to, I had to remind him that just last year, it was you that was on the other side of the law. Furthermore, For found, For found guilty of making terroristic threats to his lady friends. That's not true, Your Honor. That's, That's not I, true. He, for which he's on probation on, right now. Stop that, that why so I said, well, why should I, why should I throw this guy out when okay. we didn't, He says you know, it's not true. That's and, not and true. That's and that true. sounds like where he, why he might be suing you for defamation. Yeah, which uh, is totally true. If you're saying this and it's untrue, sir, were you ever found guilty of anything in recent years? Just contempt. Okay. Contempt. And what do you say he was found guilty of? A woman filed, or several women to my knowledge, but one in particular That's not true. filed <laughs> That's a restraining not true. order against okay. Booker for making terroristic threats. That's not and true. He was, That's he was brought into court, found guilty, and is on pro probation for that as we speak. No one ever filed restraining order against you, a woman? 
Yes, sir. Okay, I just ask you if anything in the recent years. I, I misunderstood you, and I thought you meant convicted of a crime. Okay, all right. And I said I was convicted of contempt. Fair enough. And did that involve this woman issue that yes, he's sir. referring to? Yes, sir. Contempt for not showing up? Uh, for violating the restraining order, sir. Okay, and what was the sentence? Uh, four months probation, but it was no threats. Let's move on to uh, why you're suing him for eight hundred and thirty-five dollars regarding uh, this game. First of all, Yana, uh, we were under the impressions that we were guided by these set of rules right Let's here. Let's see them, sir. Were there some rules in place? Yes, sir. They were stated rules, Your Honor. Mm. They, they were not written. No, sir. Okay, show him this. You've never seen that? Your Honor, these rules were written in week 15 at the request- Regarding this game? That's incorrect, Your Honor. Regarding this game? Yes, sir. You just told me there were no written no, rules. No, no, sir. You Your did. Honor. No, what I meant was- No, no, whatever you meant. You said there were no written rules. Let me clarify. There were no written rules until week 15. You there said was, there were none at all. No, I said, uh, I misunderstood. I said there no, were, there no were rules. I said there were sir. stated rules. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. The league is disbanded because no one wants to take the helm of leadership of a league with troublemakers like Mr. Booker. I'm not a troublemaker. Hey Judge Mathis, I'm Nick and I have a question. If my roommate threatens me, do I have the right to file a restraining order against him to force him to move out? You absolutely have the right to ask the court for a restraining order, Nick, if you genuinely fear that your roommate will carry through on the threat. If you convince the court that his presence poses a risk to your safety, the court will order him to stay away from the premises for the duration of the restraining order.